if you're shopping around for a gaming mic or maybe a podcasting mic or a mic for video production or content creation, then there are a lot of options out there old and new. But this one right here, the Epos B20 is a brand new mic in 2021 and it ticks all of those boxes I just mentioned. And it comes from a company that were behind the scenes at Sennheiser for so many years. So they have the expertise when it comes to microphones. And you might be here because you're wondering whether you should get something new like this or go for a trusty old Blue Yeti or something else. Well, in this video, what I'm gonna do is primarily a review on the Epos B20, but I'll also do a side-by-side -side comparison versus the Blue Yeti X, so you guys can see the difference in sound quality, if any. So anyway, let's look at the Epos B20. The majority of the B20 is encapsulated in a satin finished aluminium. There's a tight weave metal mesh protecting the microphone capsule. And then on the top, you've got a nice bit of EPOS branding, which kind of reminds me of a Space Invader. The provided mic stand is actually quite unconventional as it's connected to the left hand side and it allows you to tilt it forwards and backwards. And I like this approach, it's very different and it's quite futuristic. And at the base of the mic stand is a circular metal disc with shock absorbing rubber feet, which should absorb impacts if you have to rage quit and you slam your hands on the table. or something like that. Hopefully the vibrations won't travel up through the stand and pick up on the mic. We will be testing this out in the mic test segment, so make sure you stick around. And of course you can remove the screw from the base of the stand and connect it to a mic arm like this, which is advisable if you're gonna be doing game streaming because if you've got clicky keys like I have, it might pick those up. And that's something else we're gonna test out in the mic test segment. So here's a couple of advantages that the B20 has over the Yeti X, and I own the Yeti X, so I know this. It's considerably lighter, so it's not gonna weigh your boom arm down like the Yeti will. And this for me is a big advantage. It connects via a USB-C, which is considerably more robust in comparison to what the Yeti X uses in the form of an old fashioned and fragile micro USB connection. And I can't tell you how many micro USB cables I've broken just by snagging them by accident when plugged into the Yeti X. I've definitely gone through a few. Now when it comes to onboard displays and manual controls, everything is quite self-explanatory on the B20. When the mic is live, the LED light on the front will be white. When you hit the mute button, the light will turn red indicating that it's muted. One thing worth noting here though, is you actually speak into the side where the LED light is. You might think that you'd speak into this side where the logo is, but no. And just below that mute button is the headphone volume control, which allows you to dial in your volume on your headset when plugged into the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at its base. And on the opposite side of the mic, you've got your gain and your pickup pattern selector. So check this out. I'm not gonna go into too much detail here, but here's what the pickup patterns do. The stereo pickup pattern will be good for musicians and people like that. The omnidirectional pickup pattern is good for podcasts with more than two people because you can all sit around the mic and it'll pick you up quite evenly. And the cardioid pickup pattern is what I'm using right now and it's what most people will use when they're using this microphone. It'll pick up just everything that's in front of it, nothing at the sides and nothing at the back. And then you've got the bi-directional pickup pattern that will record everything in front and behind the microphone. This one's really good for interviews or one-on-one -on -one podcasts. So overall, I really do like the design of the Epos B20. It's very futuristic, it's very modern looking. It's very different from other microphones out there. It's quite minimalistic in the layout and it's not gonna be too distracting if you have it in shot and you're recording game streaming or something like that. So anyway, you've been listening to the Epos B20 all the way through this video. I've been recording all this voiceover on this. What I'm now gonna do is take this off the boom arm, put it back on its stand and plug the Yeti in as well on its stand and we'll do a side by side comparison. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so what we have here is the Blue Yeti X and the Epos B20 side by side. I've got the B20 plugged into this computer right here and then just over here, let me show you, down there, I've got this one plugged into my Mac. So I've got both mics plugged in and recording simultaneously without any effects, any filters, or any of this stuff with the software, literally just plugged straight in to Adobe Audition. So we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with a few different tests. So the first one, the table tap test.
Now the rage quit hand slap test. So now I'm just kind of tapping on the table whilst talking. Let me know how this sounds on the B20. Now let's play it on the Yeti. So now I'm just kind of tapping on the table whilst talking. Let me know how this sounds. Let me know how this sounds. Let me know how this sounds. So I'm just gonna disconnect this keyboard from my computer before I mess up the recording. But what we're gonna do here is a mechanical keyboard test. So, so I'm talking and I'm typing, I'm talking and I'm typing on a mechanical keyboard. So I'm talking and I'm typing, I'm talking and I'm typing on a mechanical keyboard. Okay, so in this last test, what I'm gonna do is play some coffee shop background noise. This is something I usually do when I test earbuds and stuff like that. And we'll see which one of these mics can cancel out the background noise the best. Okay, so there's some ambient noise going on between me and the microphones. It's not super loud, it's just kind of in the background. Let me know which mic is doing the best when it comes to noise cancelling. Okay, so there's some ambient noise going on between me and the microphones. It's not super loud, it's just kind of in the background. Let me know which mic is doing the best when it comes to noise cancelling. So that concludes the mic test on these two microphones. If you guys have got any good ideas of how to do this better, let me know in the comments below. I'm always open to your suggestions. So let me know which one performed better in the mic test in the comments below. And let's just talk very quickly about the software side of things. So Blue Microphones is actually now owned by Logitech and that means that the Blue Microphone now works with Logitech's G-Hub. I've been using this mic for a while and it's been a bit temperamental with the software, but when it works, there's a lot of tweaks, there's a lot of customization you can do to the Yeti X. One of the things I do like about this that we don't have on the B20 is the LEDs on the front that display the levels. But of course you can dive into the G Hub and adjust all of the audio settings. You can get really quite comprehensive with it and you can even customize those LEDs I mentioned. And of course EPOS have their own software. It's the EPOS gaming suite which allows you to do pretty much the same things. You can activate the voice enhancer and use the presets there. You've got the gain control, side tone and noise gate controls. And if you want to, you can activate noise cancelling, which means your noise cancelling will be better than what you heard in this video because I was just using plug and play default settings. This is a cool feature here on the B20. You can actually pass through 7.1 audio to a pair of headphones if they support that. That's a nice feature if you're gonna be doing game streaming through a PC. But check this out. This is a really awesome feature and I tested this out. You can actually plug this straight into a PS5. So if you're a console game streamer, you're really gonna dig this. You can plug pretty much any headphones into the bottom of the mic and use those. For example, I was playing Call of Duty with my Sony WH-1000XM3 headphones and the sound quality was amazing and the mic quality, thanks to the B20, was also amazing. So it's a win-win scenario. I've been wanting to use those for Warzone for a while and I can of course plug them straight into the bottom of the controller and use the mic on the actual controller but that's not very good. This is next level. So my overall opinion on the EPOS B20 is so far I really like it. It looks cool, it's lightweight, it's easy to use, you can plug and play it without the software so that's awesome. The USB-C is a big deal because all of my other mics are either XLR or micro USB. They're ahead of the game with that. And when it comes to sound quality, I think it's quite comparable with the Yeti. Let me know what you guys think. Is it better than the Yeti or is it just as good or not quite as good? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this one, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. See you in the next one. Don't be late.